Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I don't know what you think that is, but that is supposedly um, a turkey's um, feathers, I guess. Um, I got, I got uh, my my son. They send them a little, a little page saying, you know what, this is gonna be posted in our school. Um, we want you to decorate with things around their house. And things around the house means empty brass, right? Uh, and I got I got a shitload of empty brass. Um, it said etc. You know, it said you know, you know all the little bullshit that they send, glitter and all that. And then it said etc. So I guess etc. means that I can use anything I want, right? So. I'm gonna make it out of shell casings and I already have. I already kind of glued these together. You got the 270, 223, 270. You got your 40 Smith and Wesson. You got another 40 Smith and Wesson up here. Probably put some nine millimeters right here. Kind of keep it interesting. And then I don't know what I'm gonna cap it off with, but I'm gonna keep you posted on what what the school really thinks about this. I don't know. I mean, it's it's empty casings and it's creative. Um, so. Let's see what they say. I'm gluing it with uh, this MP1 Sun Elastic. This is good stuff. I use this for the roofing. Um, so it's going to stick. It's going to bond the metal or the brass uh, to the paper like, you know, like nothing before. I mean, it's better than super glue. It stays flexible so that it gives, but it's really strong and it bonds. So, anyways, keep you posted on that. And uh, let me see if I can finish this up real quick. Alright, here we got the finished product. And I think I think it looks like a feather, don't you? Some kind of an ammo feather. I should have probably painted the background or used a different kind of paper, but I think they stand out pretty good right there. Alright, let's see what happens tomorrow at school. <laughs> Here's a look at it from this angle. You can see all the primers have been have been deep primed. There is not a single live round in this, so technically these are just pieces of metal. So there shouldn't be a problem why they shouldn't be able to put it in, in the school. Um, in case, just if the people, if the teachers are fucking, you know, that biased against guns. I mean, not biased, but if they're just anti-gun anti, anti -gun or whatever, then they probably won't want these, but I think it looks pretty cool. Let me know what you think. I mean, did I overdo it? These things are still not dry yet, but once they do get dry, it's going to be pretty cool. <laughs>